Welcome back, everyone, to Natalie the Don. I'm your host, Dominic, and we have another match because that's how this works. We have multiple matches. I don't just switch off of the intermission screen for nothing. This match is going to be between Zenfer and Sparkles on Red Comet. Kind of standard map. Unstandard factory. Or non standard factory. Zenfer going for the Ampbot factory right off the bat, while at the same time, Sparkles being a bit more conventional with the rovers and starting out with standard Dart Scorcher setup. Zenfer's going for a fairly typical duck start with the ant with the Anthbots. That's nothing unusual there. Duck Archer is Well, okay. Ducks, I don't know how usual they are right now. They're a little bit out of favor. Archers are popular. Everyone goes for archers. Ducks are Ducks are good, I think. But yeah, they're I don't know. Good raiders at least. On the other hand, Scorcher Dart is just uncontested. That is the way to go. If you're playing as rovers, you get Scorcher Dart. That's just what you do. Right off the bat, though, I'm actually kind of curious how Sparkles is planning on pushing forward with this, because Anthbots are notorious for being kind of slow. I mean, they have the they have the Jin, so later in the game we might be able to see Sparkles be able to do some... or sorry, Zenfer be able to do some really cool tricks, moving their units around the map, just completely getting around everything Sparkles tries to build up, but that's not happening anytime soon. Jins are very expensive. Or Jin, I guess be plural. Jin are very expensive. 750 metal is not something you want to spend right at the very start of the match. It's something you're going to spend later on, something you're going to do when you actually have a bit more time. It's not something you're going to do right when the match starts and you've got nothing to teleport. I don't think we'll see that, though. We don't usually see people go for Jin on these maps. I find normally we see people go more often for things like, well, boys, grizzlies, archers, fairly large numbers of archers. That's the typical way to go. So I would kind of expect we just we'll see that. At any rate, Sparkles does have a slight advantage when it comes to expansion going forward. Mostly sorry, Zenfer. God, I'm getting confused. Zenfer has a bit of an advantage in the expansion going forward. Sparkles not so much. I also double check. Yes, that is lined up. I forgot to check that first. <sighs> the attrition display is not properly part of the spectator display, I'm afraid, so if anyone's wondering what's going on there, I literally just put it under stuff if the two if the names match up in ordering. Although, Zenfer, like I said, they are managing to win out an economy slowly but surely. At this point, 5 metal per second advantage is far from slow, I'll be honest. Sparkles, however, losing that in-progress Magdal Extractor, not a great thing to have happen. But, Ripper should be able to deal with the archers. At the same time, though, more archers are on the way. Again, Duck Archer is entirely what Zenfer has planned, but Sparkles, I do like the unit composition here. I understand why they kept the darts back, and that wasn't a bad idea. Just make sure they don't get pushed around by the archer. At the same time, though, I kind of wish they'd pushed a couple forward just to slow the archer down. Would be able to basically knock it completely down like half speed if they did pull in. But it still works out. At any rate, Zen for mostly focusing on their economy, not really getting raided too much. Despite the fact that, honestly, Sparkles is in a great position to raid. And repairing darts and scorchers. I never see that, and I'm kind of glad we are seeing that. I think Sparkles, while I do want to see the more raisins actually go out and building up metal extractors and getting that resources because they've got two minutes at most where they can get away with not expanding. And then they're going to absolutely have to expand. Like, they need to get more metal. They need to get it now. And they are actually sending out a mason to do so. At the same time, these raids are going to need to find some value. And by some, I mean actually a hell of a lot of value. They're going to be able to find it kill off two or three mechs just to be able to make up for everything Zenfer's everything Zenfer's gained over Sparkles, and I don't know if that's going to happen. On the one hand, it might. The south side of the map is completely open. It's not too hard to get to. On the other hand, the north side of the map is where stuff has largely been built up in, and that is not so easy to get to. So we'll see what happens there. I'm... Wait, what the... Oh, my bad. Why can I not... Grab input. Come on. There we go. Okay. But yeah, I don't see Zenfer being able to... being all that threatened here by what Sparkles is throwing up the north side of the map. I mean, the commander might be... Actually, no, the commander's fine. Their base is not fine. There's not a whole lot of defenses here. This conch very quickly getting up a Lotus to make sure that there is a way of stopping the forces from getting through. And Sparkles doesn't seem to want to go in. They don't want to risk their forces, which I don't blame them for. They are going to have to win an attrition. Uh, they cannot waste anything. Otherwise, it's going to end badly for them. And Okay, now we see why the... Archers. We're not used against the archers. As mentioned, that was... I kind of agreed with what was going on in the first place. And we can see why. Five darts being lost to an archer. 
And considering the relative cost, that's not terrible. That's about making cost for the archer. But again, Sparkles is not really in a position where they want to be losing all that much. And they want to they want to expand quickly. They are starting to catch up on metal, but again, they have to win an attrition just for how much Zenfer was able to beat them in metal. That being said, Zenfer actually does have a slight metal I think army value disadvantage? Yeah, they have an army value disadvantage. Their metal income, while it's okay and the metal use is fairly high, most of it's been put onto defense. And honestly, like, total value, as you can see from the numbers, is almost identical. So right now, Zenfer and Sparkles are actually reasonably close. The main issue right now being excess, Sparkles only has 20 metal per second going in the factory on a 30-ish metal per second income. Oh, if they had more, those archers would be totally dead. There'd be enough scorches to get through. I mean, granted, I also would think it'd be better off to go for Ravagers at this point, but still, they would have been able to get through. Even then, though, Sparkles is doing okay. It just... Unfortunately, did not have enough masons in the base. They will be getting up this this caretaker eventually. Obviously, go for the solar plant. They are gonna sparkles would be too low in energy if they didn't go for the solar plant to deal with the amount of metal they're gonna get from the reclaim because well, there's a lot of reclaim here. But still, that's that is a lot of reclaim that will be that has already gone to waste for sparkles and will continue to go for waste if they don't start getting those those nanolays up and get that storage used up. But one down, that's 30 metal per second going in here on top of... Well, actually, on top of 35. So never mind. The fact the masons are helping as well. So there is room. There is some progress to be had here. But at the same time, it's still a matter of Zen for having the advantage. Like, in terms of metal, yeah. In terms of positioning, maybe not. In terms of attrition, it's... Hard to save. The Scorchers managed to get in the back lines. This set of metal extractors is dead. Zemper's going to be down 7.5 metal per second in 2 seconds. Once those metal extractors go down, the Ducks are going to try to save them. They might be able to save this top one, but there's basically no saving anything, and there are no conches nearby either. The only conch is actually up north side of the map, so Zenfer will not be able to rebuild those metal extractors anytime soon. Very nice raid for Sparkles here. On top of the fact that their reclaim is... I mean, they're getting reclaim, they're using the reclaim, they have enough caretakers and masons, 45 metal per second in their main base. So they're good, they got a 20 metal ceiling of reclaim they can work with. How are they going to make that work though, I'm not entirely sure, because again, Zenfer has managed to win a bit of attrition, and it's a lot of it being these defenses too. I mean, this picket, seriously, the pickets? Ugh, that is, that is tough. Especially since the pickets actually could be contested by the Ravagers. But of course... Zenfer's commanders here has a lightning rifle. Yeah, I can totally understand why Sparkles would be completely reluctant to get to that area here. This is this is well defended. There's no point fighting that. But Zero K is a game of positioning, and it's a game of map control. And right now, Zenfer is fo focusing a lot on fortifying this one section of the north side of the map, which I will admit, on Red Comet, is a very important section of the map. But they're fortifying that one section of the map, and this entire south side is totally open. I mean, that's the thing. These rabbits can just go in here and have no problem. There's really nothing that stops them. There's this very clear path over here, which I don't think Sparkles is aware of completely. Ah, oh, they got some hints. Yeah. They have some idea. So this point, Sparkles could very well just waltz right in, really. I mean, whether or not they will remains to be seen. I just kind of hope they don't try to go for Zemmer's Commander directly. There are so many ways of going around here just to attack Zemper's economy and attack Zemper's production, really get into the main base directly, that involve very little opposition. Like, there's this Stardust that can be bypassed. There's one Lotus and a couple pickets and Lotus in the base. Now, this army could totally deal with Zemper's main base if they wanted to rush in there. And on top of the Dominatrix as well, Sparkles is getting up quite the army. Unfortunately, these Ravagers getting stuck by the Archers. Not able to really do much, but still able to escape at the very least. Mason right here not setting itself up to repair, so it's just a matter of getting these Ravagers to not die for the time being. I'm actually kind of surprised none of these Masons have repair on there. Ah, fight move, of course. That's that's a good idea. Get the Masons on fight move, get them to repair whatever the heck they go by. Always a good thing to do. It's always a good thing to bear in mind is that any worker put on fight move will repair as they go by a thing. Which is super handy. Fortunately, oh, Stum and Agency's going down completely. That... Archer mass here from Sparkles, sorry, from Zenfer. Way too much to deal with. Unfortunately, nothing can really help. On top of the scalps, just taking up the rear. Archer's essentially providing a buffer screen for the scalps to walk up close, tear apart everything that Sparkles has built up, and now Sparkles needs to figure out what the heck to do. 
I think I go for Scorchers, then go for any kind of artillery. No, Mass Dominatrix. Some Scorchers afterwards, but Mass Dominatrix into Ravager Scorcher. An interesting choice. If the Scallops do get captured, that will be huge because, I mean, this is this is what really riots are for. This kind of force here, but at the same time, Archers do make it difficult to go in with riots. Still, Dominatrix is on their own. Practically a riot of their own just for how much they're forcing friendly fire. Both on the captured unit and on the fact that... I mean, AFBOT units are well known for hitting each other. They're well known for not being good team players. Unfortunately, the Ravager going way too far forward. That leaves the Dominatrix completely undefended. A couple of them still have their capture beams available. But, of course, if they're undefended, that's just a matter of time before Zenfer decides to just rush them and wipe them all out. I'm curious, is Zenfer going for any air? No, they're going for a Grizzly, though. Getting that outrange and laser to take out the Dominatrices. I mean, of course, the Dominatrix sees... There's five of them now? Six of them coming up? Oh, man. If all these Dommies come in and actually take that Grizzly, I think Sparkles will win. But that's a matter of how it's used. Because right now, most of Zenfer's army is in that one Grizzly. I mean, we see army value 4,000. Well, 5,000 almost. 2,000 of it's the Grizzly. And the rest of it is this small army. So this is it. This is all of Zenfer's army. Sparkles, on the other hand, most of their army is the Dominatrix. The rest of it being Arc... Oh, Fencer's not a bad idea. Ravager Fencer. Makes sense. Anything that tries to come close, it gets taken over by Dominatrix. Managing to deal a lot of damage, too. Actually, the Dominatrixes get a nice group of units. They might even be able to turn this around slightly if they make them survive or just, at the very least, thin out Zenfer's forces. But again, Zenfer constantly getting more and more of an economy, and Sparkles is kind of stagnated on that. I mean, 45 metal, but some of that's reclaim. 35 metal without. This is not an easy situation to be in, especially when you have a Grizzly bearing down on you. For me, the only reason Zenfer hasn't completely dominated this yet is because partly they're out of power, and partly they're building Grizzlies, which are very heavy units. So it's a little bit difficult for a Grizzly to actually, well, carry an army. It's kind of the point of the Ampod Factory, but at the same time... If you are focusing on Grizzlies, you're not focusing on other lighter units that would be possibly more equipped to deal with the Dominatrices, or so the Dominatrices can't just thin out. Well, I mean, they can thin out, but you're not making up for the fact that the Dommies are thinning out your forces. Actually, Dommy and Fencer now. Well, mostly Fencer now. The Dominatrices are, like, two left. The Stingers are really doing their job. But even then, I mean, Sparkles... Sheesh. No, that's... That ain't right. Zenfer's gotta be the one winning on attrition. Or... No, because that's... Yeah, because that's Zen for... Is there really, really 16,000? Oh, right! Because Zen for's killing their own forces, because attrition is completely messed up when Dominatrices are in the mix. That totally makes sense. I was trying to figure... Because, you mean, yeah, a lot of metal value is really working out, and a lot of it is because... The value is actually Zenfer's value. Unfortunately for Zenfer, though, there is, on the rally point, a nice little stinger. And also, the Dominatrices are kind of having a hard time getting into position. The Grizzlies were a good choice. Like, Sparkles went to that for... Come on. Sparkles went to that for a reason. And for a really good reason, too. Like, Sparkles doing that means that they have... They have no real threat from the Dominatrix anymore, which means the rest of the forces that come in, that means they can start getting this reclaim and really pumping their economy forward. I mean, Sparkles, yeah, they're doing okay, but Zen for forcing Sparkles to go over to Cyclops. Which, why is this not helping? Oh, I see. They're they're cute to help out this one caretaker. I guess it's nice to get more power, which is, you need that. But at the same time, they're not helping build factory stuff, which means Cyclops is not being built. Still, the problem is now Sparkles is forced to retreat, and they already didn't have a lot of the map. At this point, Zenfer has three quarters of the map, and that is huge. I mean, Sparkles at half their economy. Even with the Cyclops, I don't know if there's really much of a chance. It's just, the Dominatrix is kind of a wild card, but given the fact that the Grizzlies can just wipe out Dominatrixes pretty quickly, I mean, one at a time, basically, or two at a time, possibly, there isn't much competition anymore. Like, Zenfer is just taking over the map in defense. They have extremely strong artillery assault units bearing down on Sparkle's base. And Sparkle's, while they do have an anti-heavy on the way, they don't really have the economy to actually get that up in any reasonable amount of time. The only thing I can think of is that they pull that mason... If they pull the mason over here, grab some of this metal... 1,000 metal? Not bad. 
but that's not great. Not to mention, I think the commander's dead as well. So right now, there's really no options for reclaim. There's this one mason, and I mean this one mason. That's it. The domination over the north side of the map, at least trying, but it's not going to find much success. Especially waiting for the reload inside of the stinger range. Not a productive way to commit suicide, I'm afraid. So yeah, this is towel throwing time. Sparkles, I mean, I, I admire their valiant effort. They're definitely trying, and I know why. They have hope in the Cyclops. It's just about done. Almost. Maybe. It's really hard to tell with Sparkles' economy kind of getting screwed over here, but it's almost done? It's it's done! Okay! Cyclops is done. I don't expect there's going to be a huge difference maker, but it might help get rid of this Grizzly. It's kind of the point. That's what it's for. I mean, can it do the job? Uh, oh, boy. Yeah, I don't know. No, it's it's not going to outrange the Grizzly, that's for sure. No, I'm afraid that Cyclops is going to have a bit of a bad day. I like the dart screen, but that's not enough. Unfortunately, just, just when it comes down to it, Sparkles really did not expand enough. Like, from the start of the game, Sparkles did not have the economy. There was a, there was a point in the mid-game where Sparkles' economy, they are both about 30 or so, 30, 40, and it was fairly even, and Sparkles was running into problems with their construction. But otherwise, no. And unfortunately, when Sparkles lost their large army earlier on, I mean, it was... They went around here, lost a bunch of army, didn't really go around and harass other things that Zenfer had built, and just let Zenfer gradually take over the map. Like, Zenfer just kept pushing, and pushing, and grinding away what Sparkles had built up. Until the Grizzly popped in, and then everything died. But, yeah, it was kind of just... Sparkles didn't really take advantage of this advantage they had with the Dominatrices and the fact that they could really just push in and get past all these defenses. And there wasn't a whole lot that would stop them. Like for about a minute or so. But that's the sort of opportunity that needs to be taken advantage of in this game if you want to win, especially against a high-ranked player like Zenfer. But yeah, it's a good choice in the Dominatrix, but Grizzly basically counters that because of the increased range and damage. The only real thing I can think of you could use against the Grizzly... I mean, defensers aren't a bad idea. Scorchers are a really good idea, but the problem, of course, is the archers covering the Grizzly makes the Scorchers a bad idea. Badgers aren't a... I mean, Badgers might work. I feel like Badgers would just get screwed over by the Archer push, too. Like, the Archers would push the Mines, and then the Mines wouldn't be able to actually do anything, so then the Badgers would be unable to do anything, so it wouldn't really do anything. Yeah, it's a tough call. Anyway, that was that. So we're going to be moving on to another game. Oh, crap. It's doing the thing again. Okay. Not sure what the game is going to be. Find out in a sec. I really don't know. Unfortunately, this was played on a different engine version, and there's a bug with 0k where I can't actually get out of it unless I change, unless I close the game completely. It's really weird. Anyway, so be back with whatever the next game is, and then we will go on from there. Oh, this is an alien desert. This is Red Comet. My bad. Sorry, for those of you unfamiliar with the game, this is Red Comet, not Alien Desert. Anyway, next game in a in a bit. Once I figure out what it is.